So I'm playing this roguelike, Zelda-like, on my Switch light, drinking a Bud Light, realizing I've played it for so long it's now dark out and I need some light. That game is Sparklight. Let's review it, right? In Sparklight, you play as Ada, an engineer who crash lands on a planet called Geodia, where an evil baron is trying to harvest a precious mineral called Sparklight for his own nefarious means. Ada must travel to five dig sites and shut down the baron's operations and release the evil grip that he has on the planet. What this amounts to in terms of gameplay is a fairly by-the-numbers roguelite style game that lacks the variety to sustain early promise. Ada has a wrench that she can use as a basic attack and holding down the attack button will produce a hammer that can be powered up before striking a foe. There are also trees that when hit release pods that mostly contain spark light but may also drop a few useful consumable items such as speed up and health regenerating items. A quite unique element of the progression in the game is the patch system which serves as a way to upgrade Ada's skills. Ada can buy patches to install onto a 3x3 grid and at first this is fine with each patch being a 1x1 block but over time patches arrive in various shapes and sizes meaning you may not be able to install every patch you want at the same time. This leads you towards creating different character builds, be them tanks with loads of health or killing machines as you upgrade your weapon power. I like this system, even though it often restricted the install of new patches. In a nod to Zelda, the levels feature dungeons that you can work through with either a large reward at the end or the introduction of a new tool or weapon. Oddly, at the end of a dungeon you give the weapon back and are given a blueprint in its place to take to your blacksmith in the town hub to make. It's an interesting mechanic but it feels a little bit convoluted for what it actually is. Now the biggest problem in Sparklight is its repetitiveness. I like the roguelike genre a lot and I've played many on the Switch but I don't think I've played one that's actually got less interesting as time went on. The main issue is the first area you land in after you leave your base and it's always the same. The procedural generation here is simply a shuffling of the same limited pool of tiles that you have to trudge through every damn time you start a new run. There just isn't enough to do in these biomes with only two or three different enemy types in each biome and not nearly enough interesting or cool loot to find and restarting a new run starts to grate very quickly. Even when you open up a new area by beating one of the five large bosses in the game, you're still dropped in the very first biome and have to find the next level somewhere in this tile set. It's totally random where the entrance to the new level is, so it just amounts to blindly searching around an area you've covered hundreds of times just to carry on to the next level. I'm amazed somebody greenlit this idea as a gameplay mechanic, but it's a pretty bad one. As I said, each run becomes less interesting to me, and I just wanted to give up in the end. You can install a patch into your grid that shows you where the entrance to a new area is, but it still involves travelling across the first area to get to it, and you just don't want to fight the same enemies over and over, so you end up just avoiding them. I guess it is a valid strategy to farm these areas for loads of sparklight, but I don't know, I found it pretty boring myself. You also eventually unlock a robot buddy who you can switch to at any point to solve small puzzles and to dig up the ground around you when there's a little secret somewhere. Something akin to how Gooigi works in Luigi's Mansion 3 and even hand control over to a buddy for local co-op if you want, but it felt like it was pretty limited for that person. This isn't the worst roguelite I've played on the Switch, but it's just so average that I would find it hard to recommend it above many of the other better ones. I'm going to be giving Sparklight on the Nintendo Switch a 7 out of 10. Thanks everybody for watching this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you did. Really appreciate that. And leave me a comment below what you think about this one and this sort of pixel art, roguelite, Zelda-like stuff in general. Is there too many of them now on the Switch or do you love them and just want more of them? Okay, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.